Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 55 of Valdez, the Ring Road City here in Cities Skylines. In the previous episode I finally built our first uh, airport or you know from the airport uh, DLC and already we have like you know uh, a jam. I don't know why but I don't care either. Now I also spoke about having a cargo in airport of the same same type um, well the question was like where to put it here or maybe here but now I also have been thinking you know since the destruction of all the industries area over here the deal from the DLC as well you know the oil the ore the farming wood etc it would be probably also a nice idea if we have like the cargo airport in this region you know next to this one and with the knowledge that we have the train connection coming from the main hub over here in the city going under there I know it's somewhere under there to make like four islands somewhere here you know that is sort of still within the 25 tiles range you know close to the coast sort of close to the well, coast <laughs> island <laughs> um, and have then that stuff enabled again because as of now I mean we don't have any industry deals see right no we don't have it or do we have it no we don't if that's the case these uh, I don't know what these are containing probably zoned industry stuff yeah, it's probably zoned industry stuff. Okay, but that is a uh, you know a headache for another day. So what I'm what I want to do now is focus on this island because in the previous episode I said like okay we need a road getting there and that road is coming from here. Now I did already do this part and this was like a little bit of messy messy stuff to do but hey ho it worked out. Here we go, clabam. Let's go, let's do this and let's grab a national road or a highway or whatever they call that thing and put it underground. I think it's this one, it's called, yeah, just a national road. And this thing is called a two-way highway. So this way, this thing is speed 90 and this is speed 100. You know what, I don't mind which I take. I take this one and we are going to put this thing from here. Let's see if we can do this. How far is it anyway to... Let's say 18 to there. Okay, we make it six. Yeah, and then we put it on the ground like that. 12. Okay, now we have to bypass those other uh, tunnels to get it above ground. If I get it above ground here, then I'm already happy. Now let's see how we can do that. We go. I think also that road there dives deeper, so I think we can make a bend from roughly this location. Yes on the bend function now let me check this out let me check out if i can yes this works eight by eight makes 12 i mean 12 uh, in total and then we bring it up so we take this option and then we do home and we make this a 12 like oh, oh, yeah thank you right 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 now i said like that probably i will make a bridge over here so that is exactly what i'm going to do and um why do i see still that all those arrows those tunnels is that normal get this road again yeah so. i guess so <laughs> i don't know but let, okay let me make this now we have to go over that train line okay no problem so um, we bring this over to a 10 like that now, there are no ships going over here so we don't it's not necessary to make this ridiculously high so I would say only from let's say this point to let's say maybe a 14 to the other side oh that's a lovely bridge actually I like it yeah I like it okay let's make a bend here from there to there I think trains can still go under that, right? Not sure, but yeah, well, they will. They will go under that. Okay, let's go to the other side here and let's connect this thing up. Now let's see. So this is 14, right? Okay. If this is 14, then we are going to divide this into. Let me see. Eight, and then we make that seven. 
and then we do another eight and we press home you see then you have a nice gradual slope which is nice um, this can be connected up to that road yeah that's all fine so or are we going to mm, because we want some buildings here well we can make those buildings uh, go off that right yeah all right but why not um, maybe also something on the other side yeah it's a little bit of um let me see let me grab that building a uh, road i mean and take it to there what the monkey is this <laughs> i think that's the wrong road <laughs> okay let's go here then um let's change this road by the way can we yeah can we change that road probably yes so we unlock this and this and Oh, yeah, unlock and then bulldoze, bulldoze. And then we put like another type of rows back. And that is then the small four lane road, which is this one. It was a little bit bigger. And we bring it to there. In this road, I yeah. Can we turn that into a round, little roundabout, maybe? Hmm. That's a good one actually huh yeah i'm thinking well roundabout would it do any good here ah to be honest i don't think so to, uh, to no. let's see let's bring that there and then we grab this national road again and then we make a little bend from here to there which is a little bit off but we will manage it with the move it mod uh and we update it here as well and then yeah doing it like that yeah maybe we can use actually also an asymmetrical road on this part yeah so there you know for turning left and right and uh color wise this road is different so let me have a look at the brush and then say like this thing needs to be dark Apply to all networks. Enter. Does not make the yeah. Does not make the road much darker actually. Or do we need this one maybe? Uh, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Now let me get this road and we take that a little bit further to there and then from here we can you know make a few smaller roads with. Definitely we need some parking, um, which is not really an issue. We take this main, also well, big road, we put a parking spot in front of it, and then, you know, a hotel, everything, you know, that stuff that belongs to this hotel DLC. First, we start with the parking space, which we will find here, you know, the big boy. We passed it already, I think. No, we did not. And which is this one? Yeah, this is a real big one. Uh, yeah, we just put it there and also put one there. So there's enough room for parking. Great. Now let's grab the uh, regular roads so we can build something on it. You know, something with trees like that up to there. And we also need um, an airport headquarters as well. So, you know, actually that can be put here on the side. Let's say here. Let, let me go into that menu and where is that building that specific airport head headquarters this one yeah which does not fit properly here okay well, i will put it here temporary and then we will move this road um, a little bit closer by then okay like that we go there then we take this building and we put it on does it still not fit yeah it fits over there right okay let me also give those guys a little bit of parking yes okay let move let, let me move this one and let me move that one and then this building airline info now we can increase the ticket price and the attractiveness score uh, blah 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 we know it all about it chirp air no this is uh, Valdez air 
in this case um, this is fine policies uh, car rentals uh, info passenger account expenses okay policies if we put this up a little bit like that so we earn a little bit more like let's say 100 100 simoleon uh, uh, whatever and then we have to put some attractiveness to it to this thing not only that but also a little bit about um, policing and garbage and all those you know little nasty things that are required right we can do that here because we do have a little bit of space which is just enough from also here oh. You don't want to play ball okay then from there to there make a little bend here from there to there and then roughly here we can place a recycling center a lovely recycling center so let me place two of those also we will place a crematorium and we need a medical clinic yeah they also need it and let's not forget our police station and some and a fire station uh, let's grab the anjo because i like it yeah and then we have all the stuff in one place actually yeah i think so, so police healthcare, death care yeah it's all there yeah so at least that can be uh, yeah they are happy okay let's give these guys also a little bit of parking otherwise they're screaming like I don't have any parking there's no parking okay you have a big parking great now let's have a look here let me put this thing away let me put this away so we have a little bit more screen and let's go into this section again this section by the way and then check it out where all the extras are here are they here no they're not here where, where, are, where are those things here ah yeah here are all the extra you know thingies um we yeah i missed this one on the airport uh, the tower would it not be nice that this thing would be oh it cannot be put on front of it that's a pity okay so then okay we put it there and then we have like these large hangers so where can we snug in those maybe here i, don't, I haven't yeah probably yeah one two i mean they help you know uh, here's no room maybe for smaller smaller ones yeah there's, there's a little bit room here there and there and we have also the aviation fuel station now where to put that normal airports also have like you know a backyard you know where they can park all their planes and whatnot but i don't have it here <laughs> i made the island too small <clears throat> Maybe I should not have digged out this thing. <laughs> I don't know. I cannot even place this thing anywhere. Oh, maybe I can put it here. A weird place to put it, but yeah, it might help. So, luxury airport hotel. Okay, we put that right here. Where people can stay. They come out of the airport and they can hop in that hotel. Nice. What more do we have? What is this? This is a budget airport hotel. It, you know it's no problem to place these things next to each other because i mean one hotel has for example let's say this is a five star hotel with more options you know with a jacuzzi free wi-fi you name it and this hotel is just you know uh, renting a closet with just uh, a tap and a toilet and that's it <laughs> yeah what else okay what uh, what else do we have more so let me see we have these small hangers these we had what is this again airport bus station okay elevated airport metro no we don't need that stuff this is all cargo related okay so we don't need that stuff now we can grab a, a, par a parked plane for example 
this is like a uh, large parked plane so we can grab that and we can actually stuff it inside of these hangars like like so not all of them but like so like that great so let me see what, what can we do more um so these things also is there room here in between or not let me have a look actually it does oh i like that no i want that no come on come on pick a mod help help a little bit you thank you and then this one you can see you can see walking uh, you can see those people walking all over the place so let's give them something you know they can sit at you know at these sort of loungy areas this just fits and the more you put of these things also that helps uh, the attractiveness of this airport like that and then for the rest i suppose what is this the aviation museum oh that thing is large that thing is that thing is very large mm. you know it would fit here if only <laughs> if only if i only if i just slam it in there and just say like, okay let's demolish then the key wall just like that pick the key wall take this option turn this off and just go around it just like that and connect it up there again voila and then we grab this stuff and we align it with this great did we also have this area i think so yeah okay we need to fill that area up and then at least we have also that thing there so fill it up with some dirt i know i can put that pump there but not much water issues will arise here from this little piece of land i don't think so and let me turn around that uh, those key walls flip 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 and that's it or maybe i should have pumped it out <laughs> i don't know <laughs> It's a lot of, uh, yeah. Okay, so you go there. Okay, that water will disappear eventually. Let's give ourselves a little bit more daylight. A little bit you know, brighter, like that. Yeah. Let's speed up this. yeah that's great so what we also can do now because you know this is all this has all to do with leisure and uh, we actually can di make a district here uh, yeah like that a district although yeah hotels yeah no it's more like hotel based actually not uh, not leisure but hotels yes so we pick the commercial specialization and we say here uh, where is that tourism Mm, restaurants and other yeah let me put that there that's fine and then we can put some stuff there now let me have a look at that yeah the last thing you want you know you have these things over here you know that we have like ultra tall building you see those airplanes they're coming in very low so let me just put here low density stuff so we don't get swamped by well, swamp by i mean we have like huge buildings over here we don't want that so we put only these and these mm, this is all fine we can put them here also here you know what and also there yeah i see also on my air rci demand we have like a little demand for people right now which is uh, positive yeah, that means like that, uh, probably this place now is starting to fill up, finally. It's taken ages, this area, yeah. 
to fill. Maybe also because I, well, it's not completely filled up yet, but uh, I think gradually it will. Nice, 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 nice. So, I think this is roughly the idea. We have like an uh, active metro connection. Um, now I can do two things. I can make a template for a cargo area over here. Also that utilizes this. Or we can do a little bit of decorating stuff. Um, let me do something here. I say to these guys, you stop and also the speed. Don't come in driving that fast. Only 50, 50. That's fast enough. And these can drive 60 and 60. Yeah, that will do. Um, yeah, how about a few trees here and there? That would also be nice, you know. Otherwise, this place is so barren. Imagine sitting in that hotel and look, have nothing to look at, you know. It's just... So I will place a few trees around here. They are not that high, so also not that problematic. I place them here also. They will grow eventually. And what can we put here, actually? Um, do we have zoning there? Yeah, we have some zone. I have no idea, you know, what, 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 what we could put there. You know, you could put some... some leisurely stuff but I have no idea what actually really can be put there hmm hmm nah I have no idea none of this stuff anyway no 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 nah what is this oh so it's okay swan pond yeah okay well this thing does its work right now. I mean, um, we can make a template for that uh, cargo airport. Now, based on the size of a normal cargo airport, which we see over here. Yeah, this is a normal cargo airport. I would say... Hmm, let me pick it. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> I picked that building. Again, pick a mod, come on, give me that thing. Okay, now I have roughly an idea how big this thing is, but also... Yeah, so... Okay, 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 we can, we can do this, we can do this. We just, we take this. I don't like the fact that, you know, that, that we have so many, you know, traffic uh, jams on the airport itself. Here on these uh, taxiways. Well, anyway, that's that's also a concern for now, for another time. So let me just monkey around here. No, no. Great water pumps. We take our water monsters. <laughs> Uh, let's place them. Yeah, they want to stick to that key wall, right? That's the problem. Over here we can put one. You know what? I can always move those things with a move it mod, so I don't want to monkey around too much with that. There, 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 and there. Now let let me move those things. <laughs> this one is sucking on the wrong side. Will you uh, turn around, please? Thank you. <coughs> and start sucking on the right side. Here we go. We just put it there. You the same. You also. Go there. I don't think it even matters. You know where you put where you put where you <coughs> where you put these things. Just in the middle there. Oh, come on. Maybe it's useful to select it. You there. You there. <laughs> you there. Uh, you there. You there. And you there. How about that? This one in the middle. You know, just <laughs> just place them randomly everywhere. 
Uh, as long as no new water is sipping in, then everything is fine. Okay, let me um, tap the right mouse button there. And it's, like I said, let's make sure that no new water is getting in. Yeah. Yeah. So, what I also said earlier to you guys is about those Industries DLC. Those uh, normally make the big money. Now, since there is slightly a residential demand, I think that we now on the point that we can have those again. That, uh, that would be nice. Uh, okay, let me check this out. We grab you and we grab the invert tool. We say, look at you, you. It's inverted. I don't know. Ah, that's just uh, the dirt, I suppose. So let me fix that little issue. You know, I like to keep those little water passages, you know, in between there. I don't know, all these islands. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. Well, I mean, this does it does do its thing. And let me have a look at that road because I placed it here. Uh, where? Oh, here. So. Yeah, without any, you know, <laughs> they can make a U-turn here. I don't want, to, I don't, yeah, they're doing it. So you will go there, you will go there, you will go straight on, and you will go uh, there. Great. Then we take this thing, also you, you. Let's not forget here, this little point. Often forgotten by most people, but uh, in this case, nope. Means also that this road will be, uh, and this roundabout will be a lot busier, but uh, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder if I have a, an intersection marking tool for this thing. So, close fit. This is a trumpet into small four lane. That should theoretically work. Let's see if that applies. Uh-huh. 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 It does. Nice. How about how about here? Points. Whoa. Presets, sorry. Uh, let's scroll close fit. Do we have one? Two Two times one lane into four lane. Uh, two. Oh, this is the merger. I think. Let me try that. Mm, bleep. Ta da! Hey, it fits. So, looking at this, I mean, I'm looking like what are these guys doing? So, let me see. Do they? Yeah, they have to give way. And how about, how about this? They should be able to pick their lane. What I notice is that they always try to dive to the um, outer lane, which is a little bit annoying at times, but yeah, what to do about it. There is of course the op option to make, let's say, an off-ramp from, let's say, here, go underground and then come up here again. Here's a possibility. Do I want it? Well... Um, so these also have like this third lane. Okay. Now, I don't like using lane connectors on roundabouts, but if these come from there, then they have to follow. It. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That's a bad idea. Stop, 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 stop. No. Um. If you just go there, then you can still take that right turn to there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then make sure that, let's say, this guy is going to there or there. And this guy is going there. And this guy is actually going there. So they don't change their lanes. Not here anyway. And then here, it's like, you know, with these guys, it's like they should be able to pick them both like that something like that yes and 
yeah, whoever takes the roundabout uh, and ends up in this blue lane, ends up here into this lane, can lane change and then still take the right turn. That works. That works. Whoa, it's busy here. These guys are taking a left turn here into this area. Do I like it? No. And I'm just going to say here, no left turn. Just go straight on. They will figure another way into this area. Maybe they can do it here, further away from this roundabout. I think that's much better. And uh, look at that. Our uh, area is dry. Nice. What's going on here? There is uh, somebody bored. Bored. Stop one. Oh, that's here at the airport. Number of vehicles is 4-4. Four, four. Is that a metro line? Or oh, there are like 1100. Ooh. Yeah, that's one line, of course. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. That thing needs a lot more metros. So we yank it up to... Uh, no, don't 10. Now, let's see what happens. Now, we add a lot more metros there to... Yeah, to get these people. They are here at this metro, uh, on under this airport. There's the first one emerging. Completely filled up, by the way. So, can we look on the ground? There, he must be coming any moment soon. Oh, he is already there. There, he's leaving. Great. A lot of people. Look, look at, look at that. You know, <laughs> that's a lot of people. It's a lot of planes also. But you know, I wonder, you know, uh, regarding the airport DLC, um, where do planes normally park? I mean, is it in these high hangars or not? Is that the idea or is it just uh, decorative? Or do these things really serve a function? Because, yeah, now I think about it, you know, normal wise, an airport also has like, you know, a, a backyard where they stall these airplanes. Maybe there is an option, I don't know, but yeah, to put later on, and not now, not in, not, not in this episode, to create a small island over here, raise this section up, and then create sort of a, yeah, I don't know, a parking spot for airport, uh, airplanes, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, we can remove these. All of these. Oh, no, 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 not the key wall. Only the pumps. The pumps like that and that like that now i will you know what i will do i will fill this up off screen and the idea i also have is like um getting the industries dlc back again on four islands over here um the question is um these fishing boats are they having issues i, I want to check that out quickly fishing no, they're still doing their routes. And this yellow stuff is anchovy, and these things are anchovies? Yeah. Okay, so they're getting their, still their fish. That's nice. That's actually pretty nice. Um, well, you know what? I can still create four islands here for those, um, for those industries. Would be nice uh, to put that in this episode, but then put it in, an, in a time lapse, and at least then we know what we will be doing. Hmm, how does that sound? Yeah? Okay, here we go.
Alright guys and girls, uh, this is the end result. I know it's a lot of time lapsing that you have been seeing. Uh, at least, you know, that's the way for me to show you what I'm actually doing. And of course I cannot put that in a uh, standard episode, otherwise that episode will become like two hours long, I guess. And yeah, this is roughly the uh, outline, the idea. I also changed the uh, pathways of the ships. Uh, I also want to have like a pathway in between, but I did not lay it yet because I was not sure if it would fit. Uh, so I can check that out uh, as of now. Let me check because here we have it. So this is the ship path. It's a little bit narrow in here. Um, so yeah, let me just squeeze it through. Let's just see how that will go like that it's very narrow here but we can always you know widen that up if if needed so let me make it there 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 and there and then hook it up to there so you know you have also an op option to get from this area to there as well yeah i think that's not a yeah a bad decision and uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So here comes the cargo uh, airport from the airport DLC. And here we will put like the industry DLCs, uh, you know, the oil, the ore, the farming land and the forestry. Now, which island will become what is not sure yet. Depends a little bit on uh, the size of each industries because yeah, every industry have like uh, different size buildings and I have to take that into account. And that is something that I will discuss with you in the next episode. So guys and girls, thank you for watching this episode number 55. If you still like this, uh, a little experimental thingy then yes i would say like uh, hit the subscribe uh, button and the bell for a uh, notification about the follow-up episode and uh, yeah and then we can continue okay i would say guys and girls until next time see you <laughs> bye bye